G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a bit of a blueies and grey um, grays today and uh, see how that goes. Now, if you've been following me, you will have hopefully seen this guy here. This was Rocky River. So it's got the browns and the blues, a bit of gray, white. So that was Rocky River. And then this one was Rocky Mountains, a little bit darker. It had a little bit of this dark green in it. So those two, Rocky River, Rocky Mountains. And today I'm gonna to do something similar um, try for Smoky Mountains, as I said, a bit of greys, blues, a little bit of brown. Try and get that sort of a Smoky Mountain look. See if we can do that, hey? Um, actually, I should show you this guy. He's dry now. Dried beautifully. I don't know if I've already showed you him or her. I don't know. Are paintings him's or hers? Cars are girls, boats are girls. What are paintings? <laughs> so there it is there. Dried beautifully. Lovely shimmer with the gold. Lovely navy. A little bit of navy there, not a lot. And then around here, oops, we've got that turquoise there. Look at that shine. And some pebbles in the middle. So that's that one there. Dried beautifully. Okay, let's get to painting. Now I'm using my usual 65, 60% 60 glue, 40% water. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> I've got a lot happening here today. Uh, the electrician's downstairs in the granny flat finishing off. Carpentry's been finished. The kitchen's in. Tiling's done in the bathroom. I've got the cleaner here. I've got people coming to look, look at puppies shortly. And I'm going to try and fit a painting in. And then I have to make a cheesecake for tomorrow because I'm going out. My daughter's coming later for the weekend. It's, it's all happening today in Julie's house. So let's get the painting done. And then I think that will be it. I only get one done today. I'm using all the Montmartre Studio Acrylic Paints. I'm not going to show you every bottle because they're up there on the shelf and they're big and heavy. So that was the white. I've got two whites here. I've got a charcoal that I made, which is basically black with a little bit of white, obviously, to make a charcoal. So that's next to the white so it can lighten. And then I've got a light blue that I've made with cerulean blue. And I've got a dark blue that I've made with phthalo blue. I've got white again and some burnt umber. So those are my colours. <clears throat> 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint uh, is how I started. The brown needed some more pouring medium. The two whites needed some extra paint because they were really thin. So 60 and 60 is 120, um, which is four ounces. So we put in four drops. I won't do the white. I'll just do these other colors. Hopefully the white will just sink to the bottom. And then these other colours can come up through the white and make our gorgeous cells. So yeah, the granny flat's almost done downstairs. I was going to move down there with all my paint, but it just looks too clean and pretty and I'll just ruin it with paint everywhere. So I'm just going to stay where I am in the garage. And my other daughter, Gemma, my youngest, she wants to move down there. It's got a bedroom, a bathroom, double vanity, big walk-in shower. A lounge room or living room it's got a little dining room kitchenette um, with a sliding door out into the backyard it's got its own front door entry so you can easily go in and without disturbing anybody in the middle of the night so I think that's what she'll do all right one day when it's finished I'll, I'll show you I'll take you down there and show you right white in the bottom I'll do two layers in each cup. I'm just going to layer them the same. And I haven't used these particular colours together, so I'm not sure like if one's going to be too dominant, if like maybe this charcoal, if it's going to be too dominant. But that's why I thought I'd put in two whites because I've got the charcoal, the navy, and the chocolate brown. They're both or all three of them are really dark colours. So I thought I'm going to need 
two whites in this. And two whites may, may not even be enough. Maybe I'll have to cut down on the, the charcoal, but we'll have a go, see how these colours go together. And then if I need to adjust them, you can always do that on the next pour, you know, add more white or cut down on the, the charcoal, or, or maybe the brown will be really dominant and take over. And I can cut down on the brown, I guess. So we'll see what we will see. Hoping to get some bigger cells, so I might stretch a little bit earlier today, rather than waiting until I've covered the whole thing. We'll see what happens. After I've, um, oh yeah, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Um, what have I got here? Now I've got white, then chocolate, then white again. Might change that up actually, and just put some of the light blue next to the chocolate. Dark brown. They don't have to be exactly the same. I just didn't think there was much point having white, brown, and then white again, was there? It's a lot of white. Break it up. Put a little bit of blue here. So that's all the blue gone. And what will I do next? <clears throat> um, all right, let's do the charcoal next. And then the white. Because I do want the white next to the charcoal. Okay. I'll keep the cups <clears throat> and then if I need to redo this pour, I can use the same cups again. So I've got, as I said, 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint, that's 120. I have six colours. So it's about 700 grams of mixed paint for this size canvas. It's a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch. That's how much I like to use for this because I like to have enough so it's easily stretched to the corners and I don't have to worry about over stretching anything or thinning out the paint too much. If you thin your paint too much, like if you're stretching it and there's hardly anything left, really difficult for the cells to come up and have pretty cells if you don't have much like much paint. If it's too thin, you've stretched it too much, your cells won't be very nice. So sometimes it is actually better to torch while you've still got lots of paint. It's still nice and thick because then when you torch, the oil comes up through all those layers and gives you pretty cells. So if you overstretch it and it's really thin paint on the surface, when the oil comes up, there's not much paint left to come through. There's not many layers because you've stretched them all out. Does that make sense to you guys? So you do tend to get better cells when you've got a nice thick paint left before you stretch it too much. All right, so now I'm gonna to have to put brown on last. Because I didn't want the brown next to the navy, that would have just been too dark. You've got to think about what your cell's gonna look like. You know, a brown cell with maybe a navy ring, you're not gonna even see that. Whereas you'll see a, a navy cell with a, a white ring, won't you? So just think about that when you're layering. Go light, dark, light, dark. Righty-o. Um, I don't even know how, I don't want to like just, I want to kind of move them around a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not going to because I love that cell there already. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to chicken pour and just do what I usually do. Look at that. I thought I might just sort of do this and then do that. One day I will. I'll sort of pour, drag that one that way and then that one that way, like over the top, and then that one sort of like that. But those just look so amazing that I'm going to just do my usual flip and drags. Spread my cups with silicone spray so the paint will release nicely. It won't leave too much paint in, in the cup. Where's all the brown? Righty, oh, gorgeous. I'm just gonna pop that there. I oh, know I don't usually do that, do I? But I just wanna make sure that I've got plenty of paint.
each other enough. Probably, probably tip most of this off anyway, but let's just make sure I've got enough, eh? I'll probably regret, regret doing this afterwards. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to make sure I've got enough paint. Um, now, I need a corner catcher. Again, we don't want to lose all the paint just yet. We want to keep as much on the surface as possible. Look at that white going through there. Hopefully the cells will come up and they'll be brown cells because at the moment my brown's kind of lost. I probably should have done that cut the opposite way. I would have got a different colour scheme. Alright, let's just go to the corner and back. Corner and back. Okay, now I'm going to torch it now before I do this. I will later on um, stretch to get all that out. That little bit there that I added. <clears throat> but I'm going to torch now because I want some bigger cells this time. My cells have been relatively small lately because I've been um, tilting to cover the whole surface first. And then I haven't had much room left. I guess to to keep tilting and um, stretching everything out so I'm going to do it this way I used to do it this way well in the very beginning I used to just flip the cups over torch straight away and then tilt um, but then my cells really got overstretched so then I started doing flip them over tilt to cover half the canvas and then torch like this um, and then I, for some reason, I think my cells must have still gone a bit overstretched. I decided I was going to flip them over, tilt them, cover the whole surface, and then uh, tilt, uh, torch afterwards, sorry. I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. I can't concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm just getting a bit close. <clears throat> Alrighty. I think that will do a little few more in this corner here. I don't want to get too close because when I get too close, I, I tend to get caterpillars. Oh, I do anyway. I don't know, too much heat maybe in one area? I, I don't know why it does it, but that's... If I'm up, up nice and high, I don't get them, but if I get too close, um, I get them. So. Righty, oh, I don't want to overdo it. I'd like some negative space. Now, um, I will just, I'll tilt over that corner, so I probably won't use the corner catcher again. We'll see. I've got this big blobby heat bit here, though, from my, my cup. You know, that end bit of the paint that comes out of the cup, which is always a problem. Not so bad on those, but this, if I'm going to take that, I'm going to have to take the paint right from there off, so I don't know whether I'll get that far. We'll see what happens. Left and right. And make sure that when you do go left and right, you go all the way left, all the way right, so that you are stretching your cells. Wet that corner a little bit, off you go. Now I just gotta get back to this problem corner down here. Oh look, I did it, I did it, I did it, it's gone. <laughs> I've got a bit of a caterpillar there, never mind. Okay. Now, this big area here that I put paint in afterwards, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that off but I actually don't mind that. Um, I might just torch a little bit in, into it there see if I can get some cells. It's 
So you can torch afterwards as well, that way you can get some smaller cells up maybe. So it's quite blank here, so I'm going to torch there just to get a little bit of cellage happening there. And then when I tip to go that way, they will stretch as well. Oh, those ones are brown in there. Those are pretty. Oh, I got too close there. I didn't even notice that. Look how close. Look at those. Didn't realise I got so close there. I'm going to have to take some of those off. Okay. That was easy. Um, just going to walk down a little bit. Get rid of that one caterpillar and a little bit of that pointy bit there. But that's, that's enough. I'm overstretching everything else at the other end now. I don't know where this came from, this curve. <laughs> Go figure. Don't know where that came from. Wow, I love those colours. Wow. Just the right amount, I think. I kind of was thinking it was going to be a little bit more... Um, lighter a little bit more smoky but that's okay um, I don't think putting the light blue next to the charcoal was a good idea because I don't like that um, maybe the light blue the brown the light blue and the navy might have been a better option I don't really like how it's kind of gone a little bit muddy. So I'm just going to get that off just a touch. That's better. Yeah, so navy. Uh, don't put the light blue next to the charcoal. Oh, just want a few more cells here. I did end up tipping a lot of that off, and now it looks a little bit bare. So I just want a few more cells there now. That was that triangle area that I filled in, and I don't mind that. The white, the white, and the brown have made this like a creamy color. That looks really pretty. So I've got my bigger cells, you guys. What do you think? Do you like the bigger cells? Even though, you know, some of them are a little bit overstretched. But um, generally, they're quite nice. All right, that's enough. Take the torch away from that woman. I'm really happy with that. The little caterpillars there that grew when I got a bit too close but hey I'm loving that digging it okay let's take that away so what do you think about me torching halfway through rather than waiting till the end I did get bigger cells um, Maybe a little bit overstretched, a little bit more overstretched to what I would normally do, but it's kind of a trade-off, isn't it? Having bigger cells. And some people don't mind them being a little bit sort of wonky, a little bit overstretched. Whoops. Oh, I dropped my little spatula. Just do these sides and then I'll take you down for a close-up. Um, it's probably a little bit on the darker side to what I was hoping for, so I will go again with the same colours and I won't put, I'll try not to put the light blue next to the charcoal because it's just, oh, it's made a little bit of mud. You be so careful when you do this that your stick doesn't come up because I've scratched the side there. See if I can fix that. That won't matter. That, the paint will just, it'll drip down. So, yeah, 
Wow, love it. Happy with that one. Oh, my hands. You know it's a good pull when your hands are filthy, hey? Okay, um, what can I show you in comparison? Oh no, you haven't even seen that one yet. I can't show you that one. Mm. No, I can't show you that one either. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, this one, oh, I can't even remember that one. Just looking at the cells. I can't even remember how I did that one, but oh, love this. Love it. And where's my smoky, my, there it is, uh, Rocky, Rocky Mountains. Now this one was done, this was a different pouring medium. This one was with global glue and it kind of, oh, I don't know, it makes really thin, thin mix. So that's it there. That was, but look at the colours. And this was the Rocky Mountains. See the cells? Are much better in here. I'm getting, as I'm learning every day, I'm still learning and I get better cells. So that was the Rocky Mountains and there was the Rocky River, it had more blue in it and then Smoky Mountains, although it looks more rivery doesn't it? It's got, it's got a lot of blue in it. Mm, I'll have to see what I can do about reducing the, the blue and just to make it maybe, I'm thinking maybe I need three whites it's just a little bit darker than what I was going for so um, if I move up to the next size canvas I may do the same amount of colors same ratios and everything but just use three whites And that'll make it a little bit lighter. Everything will be toned down a little bit. The cells are just amazing though. That one's got quite a few colours in it. Really pretty. Go around the side. So those were the ones that I've, I've torched afterwards. Just the little guys that have popped up. Got a bit of a caterpillar happening there, but he's not too bad. Just got a bit close with my torch. So next time I, I may do the more, um, try to get a bit more movement in it, in the pour. As I said at the beginning with the cups, try and do a bit more of a flowy flip and drag. So we'll see what happens. I may chicken out because I like my stripes. So that's it there. Um, first try with Smoky Mountains, but not quite there yet. It just looks more like pebbles in a river. Maybe I'll have to rename it and try for Smoky Mountains on the next one. Because <laughs> uh, it is, it's much more pebbly, isn't it? River running through, river running over pebbles. So there you go. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. And uh, we will definitely see you for the next one. All right. Bye for now.